Yo, what is up everyone? Hope all is going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jacked. Now today what we're doing is continuing off here on the official server of course in this wonderful blizzard and we're just going to pop right over here to the greenhouse. Now what we're going to be doing today is actually doing a little bit of a base tour. I, we've been doing so many different uh, builds and all this different base expansion and all kinds of crazy stuff in the last week. I want to show you it all together and kind of give you an idea of what the base looks like now. Um, so dung beetles are all empty. That's good to know. <laughs> so this is our storage for dung beetles. Uh, up here is, if I can use the ladder correctly. Um, if I could use it on the right side, I mean, um, we've got our farm up here. This will have everything we need for crops and all that stuff. We've also got, uh, so these doors lead outside, and then these ones, or this one, leads to the, the greenhouse itself. So I've also got some plant species eggs growing in here, just uh, just in case. Turrets on this place, because people like to break my glass, and it, it's it's unfortunate. Now, I do need the majos. I am imprinting Rexes. We're going to get down there. Um, and one of them needs Pteranodon Kibble. The other one needs Parasaur Kibble. We have, like, every imprint dino, almost. And I didn't realize that we didn't have Parasaur. So, <laughs> we have no Parasaur eggs. But now, at least we have majos to cook up this uh, Pteranodon egg that we need for one of them. Now, I'll take it nice and slow so we don't get too much lag. You, get, you can get quite a bit of lag uh, loading in the whole base down there. I'm going to drop off these narcotics. He's taming up a... Therizino. We need a new one of these, so toss those in. This is a really long tame, and it takes a lot of narcotics, so well, maybe 300 berries might help. I don't know. Not really. Um, but we'll bring these uh, mages over here. Basically, i got to get this kibble going. We've got our industrial cooker over here. I'm using I'm using this base tour episode to also just kind of get a little bit of uh, a few things done around here because well, we also got to put these walls on the back. I, at least I brought them ahead of time. I knew that this thing needed walls because I was just starting to turn it into like a little turret tower and now it's at least sealed off. So, we, oh, and there's like a thousand majos in here already. I did not realize that. I put all the other stuff in here, didn't realize that there were actually already majos. All right, I guess I'm blind. Anyway, we've got our one, I was going to make up like 20, oh no, oh crap. I had all that cooked meat in there, and it just used it to make stews. Shoot. I was going to make a bunch of it, the kibble just so that we had it prepped, but... <sighs> That's alright. <laughs> we only needed one anyway, and we got one. You. Oh, yeah, someone did run out and get... Okay, that's where all these majos came from. I'm like, where... Why do we have a thousand of them in there? Alright, anyway. Now, this is our main dino area sadly at the moment this is kind of how they're stored uh, I actually plan on putting in a whole bunch of plant species X and stuff around here this is a pretty new arrangement we've been trying to tame up all of the dodo or the dodos we need to tame up all of the dodos um we've been trying to trying to tame up all of the imprint dinos we've always even got megalosaurus here and that's where my tribe mates have been killing it i have not tamed i, I mean obviously i've tamed the, the big ones the quetzals uh the rexes that stuff but they've been killing it on all these little ones and it's been really nice having them to do that so really appreciate that work from all of them because these are what make a difference because now we've got kibble for a lot of stuff so anyway coming over to the baby breeding base area we've got turrets now it does look blank along a lot of the areas just oh my god i'm stuck okay okay all right micro raptor uh, i put him there just be a little trap in that area but it looks a little blank going up on the sides but there are really about 45 turrets on each side so that's pretty good for for you know just giga storage slash baby base for the moment so we've got three doors going on to here i can close these correctly cool and then this is this is baby baby area so as you can see we're already putting it to use we've got six wrecks going and then our pteranodons as well so you needed this cool and then the other one needed parasaur eggs which we have quetzal we have rex we have megalosaurus we have pretty much every difficult egg you can get and we do not have a parasaur so <laughs> that's all right we don't need to really imprint them all these are going to be used for the bosses eventually so that's why we're, we're breeding so many of these we just need so many rexes for those and actually farming the bosses now i need to put a door on that section but i guess we can go over here quick so doors need to go on here these are going to be sectioned off like the giga area that i'm going to show you above we focused on the mid part of the base so the giga area is all set in and the most secure and then this bottom part is next and then we'll move on to the third floor which is the quads if i can get out of these doors That'd be great. Okay. So, as for the Gigapen, this 
we need one more thing. Actually, I'm going to bring that over here right after. I think it's getting dark soon, so we need one more door for this area, and I'll show you where. But we've got our good gigas. This guy actually got a pretty decent saddle on it. Got one of these from someone, and yeah, that's really nice because I didn't want to have to craft the... Because we got a red giga blueprint, but the crafting requirements on it were ridiculous. So that's where we need to put the doors at, <laughs> that hole right there behind the, the troughs. So if I can get out of here... So this is how the whole, like, midsection of this is set up. Get off of that. And so it's all doors, obviously. And then each door leads to a turret. Um, we do have to do horizontal electrical through here still. But we're still working on getting all the turrets up and filling them with ammo. It takes a long time to do that. We've even we've got the resources. It's just like crafting and getting it all in here is what we're doing now at the moment so that's why i want to give you a good overview of what's going on with this base and everything because over the next week or so i want to be taming some good stuff i really really want some high level brontos parisers um we need what else do we need there are a lot of things on the list of just we, we need a new moza a new really cool moza so basically I need to spend next week um, taming a lot of stuff, so we're going to be doing all this base building stuff and things in the background, so I'll just show you kind of the progress after a week and a half or so, because I know that it can get pretty boring just watching all the base building and stuff, so I definitely want to get some good tames, and we'll do all the base stuff in big chunks, and we can kind of just watch it as it goes, but uh, there we go, nighttime, uh, let's wait here a little bit. All right, here we go, back in the daylight. That is one of the big downsides of official, is that we can't use gamma or anything, but it's all right, I'm, I'm cool with waiting until the morning. Now, we'll, we'll check out the main base now here. Um, this is one of my wyverns. The two wyverns that are here are actually both mine, the two that I imprinted, so this is my 100% imprint. I love this one. And he's got some good stuff in him, what the heck? All right, cool. Now, We'll go over here. This is the entrance. So we've got a decent amount of turrets on here. Now, these ones are the ones that I've been prioritizing to fill. Um, so if you see ones on the baby base that have zero or something, mostly because I want to get 1,200 on main base because that is our, our focus. So now that they're all... Pr actually, they are all, all pretty much at 1,200 or so. We should be able to move on to filling up a lot of the other stuff. And actually, I want some more turret towers out here too. We just need more. There's always more to have. But we've got this turret tower over here. Just a few sheep left. We've got four of them. Those are pretty much our breeders um, because I've been, I've been selling them off. Selling off the children. And we've got... Yeah, basically that's just Sabertooth and Frog. Our, our two good ones being protected. I need to eat something. Whenever I put, the, whenever I passive tame something, I always forget to put my food because I always keep my food on zero. So when I passive tame or I feed them the kibble, I always just starve myself to death, not realizing I'm not eating. Maybe we can help him out here. He's, he's transferring. I thought I was the only one who did this. I've never seen someone else do this. So if you can like drop your bag, get out of distance, and then pick it back up, and that's how you move like big chunks of stuff when you're by yourself. Let's let's watch him do it. Come on. Oh, what? <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. I wonder if it's, is that just visual for me or? No, he's lo he lost the bag. <laughs> Let's see how long it takes him to find it. He's confused. He thinks I stole his stuff. <laughs> All right. Okay. I won't make him look any longer. <laughs> it's up. Read the chat. We're not in Discord at the moment, but <laughs> that's funny. That's weird how stuff like that happens in Ark. Okay, we're gonna have to demolish this wall. We're gonna have to get rid of this wall here, I think. Can't actually access the bag. That is quite interesting. Alright, we'll demolish that. Alright, I'm gonna replace this wall here. I gotta go craft that thing up quick. <laughs> that's funny though. Okay, now. Back where we, where we left off. This is now fully secured with a wall. Um, this leads into our crafting room. And we've got, just got storage bins galore in here. This is this will be weapon storage and all that fun stuff. And oh my God, let me... Let me through! Ugh. Jeez. How, did that not work? Okay. 
I guess the punch didn't work. Alright, anyway, uh, we've got more storage over here. We've got our chem bench, which we probably need a second one of. This kind of leads to the old um, dung beetle storage area, but I leave them here because obviously we've got a, a lot of plant species X down here. It's nice just to have the fertilizer. Um, that's one of the generators. Probably shouldn't have shown that, but that's alright. <laughs> I know I shouldn't show the generators, but sometimes there's like 20 generators on this island. It's okay if I show you like one of them. All right, in here we've got pretty much this is like storage that we don't use as much, just kind of back storage, I guess. And then up here we've got refrigeration. This is kind of a little blank. We could probably do a decent amount more with this area, though. Um, we've also got yeah, dodickers hi hanging out back there. We never use it. Once you get past, you know, stone walls and stuff, you don't really need a dodicarus too much. Um, so, grab this meat. I forgot I was even cooking this up. I was, I was going to use it for more of that kibble, but I don't feel like going back out there. <laughs> now, this was, initially, this was the original double-layered roof. That's why this is here. Um, I do want to remove this area. It's just kind of like dilo storage. This is it's the only place we have dilos, actually. <laughs> So they're they're just hanging out in that layer. They've been there since we moved to this to this island. Now, this oh okay he moved it in here. I'm like this is the same one we looked at before. Now this is my this is mine. This is the one that I don't let anybody else ride. Oh he's got a ma mastercraft. Where did I get that from? Oh it might be it might have been one of like the alphas that I killed. But yeah I I don't even I didn't take the hundred percent imprint one. I leave that one as a tribe wyvern. But the 97 one, I don't know. I just like his colors more, and that's just my personal one. I didn't want to take the best one for, for tribe use. So we've got turtles in here. Oh, eggs. Why didn't that egg fall? Shoot, I need to back them up a little bit more. So, wait, can you move, please? Okay. Um, I guess he's not going to. Oh, 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 made it. Oh, he's got two eggs. Thank you. So we've got turtles in here. We've also got scorpions. So I'm trying to get rid of all of our lower level crappy turtles. Um, trying to just use them on little little things and whatnot. Like that raid just didn't even care that the turtles died. I'm like just just let them die. We need to have room for for 150s that we find. Uh, we've actually been looking for really good turtles. We've found some nice 130 to 140 turtles with like 2k HP. <laughs> we always use okay. I should probably mention this. This is our snails. And we've got an egg here. Okay, dodo egg. I'm going to eat that. We don't need any more of these. So we've got the snails down here, and that's kind of like the quick way down. Um, but what was I saying? What was I talking about? I totally forgot now. So screw it. Oh, the turtles. The turtles. Um, we use a magnifying glass before we tame any high-level turtles because you can get a level 1, you know, 50 that has 2K HP, or you can get a level 150 that has... 6k HP, you know, it's a big difference, so we don't want to waste our time. Um, now, that's pretty much main base there. Um, I, I can't, oh, the, the last point, we might as well just park this Quetzal. Um, probably the last part that I need to show you is just the Quetzal storage, and that's right above the Gigas, so that is not fully finished. Um, like the Giga area, you know, it's so fully sectioned out and stuff. He must be filling up some of the turrets up there. Um, let's park this in here, though. I'll show you what's going on. So, as you can see, the wires are all still exposed and stuff, but that's because we're we're crafting up the ceilings and stuff to do that. Um, I've been, like, ridiculously busy, actually. I've, um, as some of you know, um, I've been planning a move. Um, my, my girlfriend actually got a better job in another city, so we will be moving to uh, Denver. Uh, new whole new area and stuff for us. So, it's been a little bit of process looking for, you know, a new place and things. And getting out daily videos as well can sometimes take a little bit of time. So, sorry if some of them end up a little bit shorter. They might have a few errors in it. It's just because I've been pretty dang busy. So, I'm going to get this meat down. I need to go get this all to our wrecks if I can survive this fall. So, yeah, bear with me over the next week or so if I'm... if things are a little bit shorter or something it, it really shouldn't be affected too much but that would be why so anyway if you like this video that's where we're going to stop for today definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you all have a great rest of your day and of course we'll catch you next time